100% Bernie Sanders because I think he he's just the most in tune with the um, I don't know the the voice of like the youth and the country and like where we want to take I mean it's you know it's it's healthcare it's the environment it's student debt it's where I, I think I think all the other candidates just don't quite get it and they have to try so hard to like be relevant whereas Bernie just is he he understands what we want and he's gonna deliver it's hard to answer the question of who I believe would be the front runner for this presidential election uh, it's really hard because there are a lot of candidates who have very similar viewpoints and we're all pretty much progressive Democratic candidates um, it boils down to I think um, for the primaries especially like this debate the most recent debate focused on was who do we think can beat Donald Trump after the primaries? Or who would be the candidate to take him out of office? I was initially thinking that Pete Buttigieg would be a good primary candidate um, because I'm someone who is an, an ally in progress for LGBTQ rights. Um, and I thought that it would be incredible to have a gay president in office. But uh, two reasons why I don't think so anymore um, for Pete Buttigieg is that I don't think he really focuses on LGBTQ plus rights um, as much as some of the other candidates. It's kind of ironic. And also um, the fact that I don't think that America is ready for a gay president in the fact that I don't think people would vote for him, even though I think that it's very warranted for us to have many different identities representing our United States. Um, so in terms of who I think would beat Donald Trump, I don't think he would be able to because people would just have such bias and homophobia against him. So at the moment, I kind of shifted my thinking um, away from Pete Buttigieg due to this recent debate, maybe focus on Elizabeth Warren more um, because I do think that she has more of a view um, and sympathy for working class Americans and um, everyday Americans who uh, like school teachers and funding education and um, her 2% plan, I believe, um, to, to take money from the higher up 1% to um, fund more of her like bills, her, all of her actions that she wants. Like That seems like a very solid plan in my eyes, whereas a lot of the candidates haven't really given an extremely solid, consequential plan that I've seen. Uh, Bernie Sanders. Yeah, it's Bernie Sanders and it always will be Bernie Sanders. Back in 2016, I knocked on doors, I made phone calls, uh, I volunteered, I was everywhere for Bernie Sanders, and then he got screwed out of the nomination. So here I am again in 2020. Um, he's my favorite because he's been the most consistent out of all of them. Um, I feel like Elizabeth Warren is afraid to embrace progressivism as a whole. Pete Buttigieg is an empty suit that changes his policies based on who donates to his campaign. For me, it comes down to electability. Bernie Sanders has the biggest base, the most, um, I think the most inclusive and diverse base of supporters. And just the way that he's just been in the fight for 60 plus years is just inspiring to me. I think that he is the definition of the quote unquote American dream, being, you know, the child of, of immigrants from Poland. But I think Bernie's the man. I think, I think he's got it. I am going to vote for Bernie uh, because I think that he's the most like authentic and he I, I definitely have trust for him in that he's going to uh, do what he says uh, I'm also in debt to go to school so you know when he says he's gonna forgive student debt I'm like behind that um, I also definitely think that health care is like a basic human right so the fact that he wants to give universal health care uh, is very appealing to me and yeah, and his voting record is also like incredibly consistent. You know, he was in the civil rights movement, um, which just like earns my trust for sure. This time around, it'll be my first time voting uh, in the major like elections. I'm excited to vote for the primaries. My mom would tell me that, you know, not to care about it too much. Don't watch the debates because, you know, like in the end, they'll just choose whoever. I think that it's so important to pay attention to the primaries, especially nowadays.